Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hello folks, this is Chris KY4CKP, and this is part two of the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000 Take It Along Edition Antenna Reverb. And um, I knew I had needed to do this and wanted to do this uh, for a couple of reasons. One, the original uh, quick and easy down and dirty uh, black paint job I had put on this when it was on the car uh, was, uh, was needing to be redone in some fashion. And I suspected that some of the connections and things probably needed to be cleaned up. I've had this antenna for uh, almost two years, you know, certainly a year and a half, two years. And it's uh, seen some weather and uh, been used in the field in various uh, scenarios. And so I know I needed to clean some things up and I wanted to redo the paint job. And, uh, and it would make a fun little project. And uh, it's a good antenna, it works really well. And I uh, wanted to, uh, to keep using it. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go over uh, basically what I did in, uh, in this video. And then uh, in part three, we'll uh, be getting this back out in the field and just kind of do some, some testing and use of it uh, and after it's been refurbed. And, uh, you know, just certainly make sure it's still working just fine, which I completely suspect it will and should be. So one of the, uh, the prime areas that I wanted to take a look at, as we'll see here, was kind of where the main, main uh, connector for the jumper comes off. Uh, you can see there that uh, my... my very poor paint job, uh, had some overspray and some things, which I wasn't worried about that. But I was just wondering about the connection between the two nuts where the, uh, the uh, ring adapter goes. And so when I took that apart and, uh, and took a look underneath there, well, golly gee, <laughs> there was in fact some corrosion built up. And I fully suspected this was the case uh, just because it has been in the weather and uh, has been in the rain and, and so forth and being very humid here in Kentucky anyway. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. You know, if you've got antennas, uh, they've been out in the weather, uh, mobile antennas especially, uh, maybe field antennas you're using for uh, uh, anytime you, you go mobile, camping, parks on the air, field days, whatever, um, even potentially some of your, uh, your home shack antennas, you might want to show them some love every so often. You know, once a year, give them a good uh, good going over, see if anything needs to be repaired or replaced, see if there's any corrosion like you see here that's building up, uh, just to keep them in, in good working order. So I knew this antenna needed some help, and so that's why we're here. Uh, again, the paint job is something else I wanted to uh, to kind of address as well. So I, I have the dual collar upgrade to this antenna, and uh, uh, I wanted to, of course, repaint everything. But the other thing I wanted to do is the, uh, uh, the folks over there at Wolf River Coils, they had come up with a new uh, pickup, the little metal bent piece on the interior that you can see here. They call that the pickup. That's what rubs against the coils and makes your contact. And they had an upgrade to that. They had redesigned a newer, bigger piece to do a better job, even though the antenna worked well already. Uh, so I ordered the little pickup uh, upgrade kit. It wasn't very expensive. I wanted to redo uh, the um, radials that I had for this and again, redo the paint job. So, uh, you know, kind of begun by sort of taking everything reasonably apart. I didn't take it all the way down to uh, every single nut and bolt, but sort of taking things apart so that A, I could repaint some things and B, I'm going to be replacing those pickups and uh, checking some of the major connections. And uh, I had some... Um, some coarse steel wool that I was going to use for a lot of the work, uh, maybe a little bit of sandpaper. Uh, if you have a wire wheel uh, on your uh, drill or, or a bench uh, grinder or something, uh, that could be used for some of this work. But some of the components just had some corrosion and things. Nothing major, but uh, you know this piece right here, the main uh, piece here for the tripod, uh, you know, it has a little bit of corrosion on there. Now it came right off, you know, with some steel wool and everything. So I was mainly just wanted to clean everything up, repaint a few pieces, uh, clean up some of the uh, corrosion that had uh, built into it, and uh, repaint some things. And I was going to kind of repackage this uh, to uh, uh, and do some new housing uh, and everything so I can have it convenient 
and able to uh, to take it out into the field. So we'll uh, continue on with some of the uh, the work we did in the next section, and we'll bring you folks right back. All right. So here you can see the original three aluminum uh, tripod legs that the uh, Take It Along Edition comes with. Uh, these are 12 inches and uh, aluminum, so they're not really going to rust or have major problems. But they had developed, you know, some dirt and uh, and whatnot on them. So again, I took some uh, coarse steel wool and uh, and just went over uh, those, as we'll see a little bit later. A few of the other components, like the the base to the tripod. Uh, and a few other, uh, the, the main whip and some things. Just clean them up, polish them up uh, a little bit. That's one of the nice things about uh, kind of raw aluminum and stainless steel and so forth. It's easy to take care of. And one of the other things I wanted to do is I had made some some new uh, radials with some of these uh, sort of uh, alligator clamps on there. The original radials were are pretty nice. Uh, they had ring terminals, but uh, mine had a terrible accident with a lawnmower. Uh, now, the, the main problem with the, the cheap new ones that I made, they function fine, but the, the cheap wire uh, was solid core wire, and, uh, you know, we call it having a memory. So whenever you bend it someplace, it wants to stay that way. Now, there's pros and cons to that, depending on your application. For the radials, it wasn't optimal. And so I bought some uh, wire from DX Commander, uh, who makes the uh, the DX Commander antenna, uh, Callum McCormick, in the UK. And he sells some very nice wire that, that doesn't really have a memory to it. It's not. Uh, it's very nice in the hand, very flexible. Called DX10. You can buy that from him. And I made some new, uh, some new radials. And I use these bigger, heavier duty alligator clips. Uh, I use the uh, mechanical crimping to hold the wire. Uh, it has a screw terminal. Uh, screwed it in, and then also soldered it, uh, just to uh, try to make sure I have a pretty decent connection there, uh, which is pretty much what I did with the other alligator clamps. So you can kind of see here where I put those together. You can just buy those. I think I got these at Lowe's. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot or you know, Amazon, places like that. Uh, and uh, they happen to be red. I had uh, red ones and black ones. And I was going to go with a red color scheme for this uh, this refurbish of the, the antenna. So I made the new radials. Now, I made the radials 33 feet long. The original radials are 33 feet. But I also uh, made them doubles. So I've got three of them, but there's two each. So I have 66 uh, feet of those. And then uh, here uh, you can see again, going over the different metal components, uh, just with that steel wool is pretty much all I used. Uh, I did have some sandpaper for some of the other uh, other activities I did. Uh, just to, to knock off any little bit of corrosion or something that had built up, uh, most of the components weren't really too bad. Uh, you know, I caught it, you know, basically in time before things got too bad. And just kind of clean them up, make them, make them look a little bit nicer. Again, checking connections. Uh, you saw that earlier connection. It, it definitely needed some help uh, with uh, the steel wool. Again, if you had a, a wire wheel, that would make quick work of that. So this is the uh, the pod for the, the main antenna connection and the uh, the tripod base. Cleaned it up, cleaned up the legs, cleaned up the, uh, the wire whip, uh, the extendable whip. I also have a 102-inch solid whip. That I can use, and here's where I was painting uh, the components. Like, yeah, I decided to go with a, a red paint. Now, this is kind of a medium red paint. The uh, the lighting kind of blows it out and makes it look day glow orange or something, but it's really kind of a medium red. And uh, you'll see it better uh, in the indoor lighting a little bit later. So I just uh, started putting some coats on uh, on the components. Uh, I had some things taped off. I did have painters tape. I just used some some other tape uh, tape, but it worked just fine. Uh, you know, put. Uh, put several coats on there and, uh, and let it dry for 24 hours uh, to give it sort of a new look, new color scheme to go with uh, the new alligator clips I've got on there. Here's uh, basically all the components with uh, with the new red on them. Uh, and I think it'll look nice. And it also will make it sort of more highly visible when I have it in the field uh, as well. So, uh, you know, don't want things to be a trip hazard when you're deployed. Now, uh, here we see coming up, I've got the new pickups that Wolf River Coils made. You can see the original pickup there on the left and the new bigger ones on the right. So the new ones are, they're bigger, they're wider, but you also see they've been able to form in that curve so that they should match up to the coils of the main unit better. So uh, I ordered the uh, a double kit of that to go with my double uh, uh, connectors. Uh, again, you can see a good picture there of, of the difference, how it's curved and, and just bigger. So you should have better contact. So I'm really excited uh, once we get this done and then uh, when I get some time in a week or two uh, to get this in the field and uh, and just use it some. It, it's a really cool antenna and it's it's highly portable. So uh, we've 
going to get these new pickups uh, installed into the uh, the PVC rings uh, that go up and down on the slider. Now I cut my my uh, my rings down. Those rings that you have for the pickups, I cut them down. They're probably only two thirds, uh, three fifths <laughs> as uh, as wide as they used to be uh, when I was using them in the car. And that way you have a little bit more kind of room, depending on how far apart the bands are. Because the, the, the Wolf River coil itself can do, I know 10 through 80, uh, and depending on your whip length, and if you use the extensive whip, uh, you can get down to, to six and some other things. So again, you can see the, the red color, much more of a really a red color there uh, on the components. Putting in the new pickups, which is just a screw and a washer and a nut uh, to, uh, to put those back in. And then the little jumper uh, connector for the little jumper and with the new with the dual terminals when you get that upgrade kit you can kind of pre-configure so what i i typically did is i was sort of pre-configured for 20 meters and, and 40 meters and uh whenever i deployed it or whenever i was driving down the road i could pretty quickly hop from one band to the other uh, every time i would take a break in the car i would just hop to the other band and work that for a little while and uh, hop back and forth throughout to, you know if i had a six eight you know whatever hour trip uh, and it made it very fast and easy uh, to do that so we got the new uh, pickups installed. Now I found some threaded rod that's uh, 30 inches. I found some aluminum threaded rod, 30 inches, and I bought a couple of those. Now it's threaded on both ends, and it's the same thread pitch as the original uh, legs are, and they sell a kit for this very purpose, but uh, I found these uh, uh, kind of locally and picked them up. Uh, a little bit less money, uh, but they're going to work just great to give me a, a bigger base that's a little bit harder to, to blow over in the wind or something. And I found these lug nuts. Now, these are just regular lug nuts, but they have the same thread count. And they were already uh, colored this this uh, medium dark red. And I, and I wanted these for a couple of reasons. Uh, a, for the color, but also to give a little bit more weight down towards the bottom. It's not a ton of weight, but a little bit more weight uh, down there. And I'm going to hang a weight on the tripod as well. So again, here you can kind of see the two uh, the two rings and the and the pickups and the jumpers installed uh, with the jumper wire, and just put some red on each end of, of the jumper wire there. Nothing nothing a big deal there, and uh, again cleaned up the the connection where the the pigtail goes in there. We saw how, how dirty and corroded that was earlier, and of course put the base back on, and again that right angle that we've seen there it doesn't come with this kit. A lot of us uh, that buy this antenna system like to put the, the right angle on there just to make it a little bit easier to put your cable on there. Again, there's another picture of the uh, the three long uh, legs, the shorter legs there, and uh, and then all the components uh, repainted. And then there's the original extensible whip. I may take that plastic piece off and, and paint it red as well. And this is a red tube I bought to store everything in. This is sort of uh, what you would use for, uh, uh, you know, Art students and artists and uh, and people who work with uh, uh, you know if you're in construction and you're gonna have blueprints or just anything like that you know just to protect uh, that kind of material uh, not very heavy not real expensive and it's extensible the tube's extensible and it's enough to hold pretty much all the components and uh, here you can see uh, I did buy a new set of the original radials that Wolf River Coils has they have the ring terminals on them that'll go inside there as well. The newer uh, uh, radials that I made are a little bit bigger, a little bit more uh, volume to them. So I've got this this little red bag. I can put some extra uh, components in and things. And that's uh, that's my new setup for the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000 Taken Long Edition. I've got the original 12-inch legs. I've got new 30-inch legs. I've repainted everything red, cleaned up all the connectors, put the, uh, the new pickups, the new wider curved uh, pickups on there. And I'm really excited to uh, to get this, uh, you know, and get it back out in the field and uh, and use it some. Again, it's a great antenna. I've used it at home. I've used it mobile. I've used it uh, uh, in the field and, and for field days and things. So that's pretty much it for this refurbish. We'll get it out in the field. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73. <laughs>